Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode where I review vintage uh, fountain pens. Today I have for you an interesting, interesting item. Unfortunately, I bought this fountain pen without its cap, but I think I paid a reasonable sum for it. So around, uh, I'm not so sure, maybe 10 euros or 12 american dollars for it around 50 lace so quite quite a nice buy for a german piston filler and i present to you this beautiful beautiful fountain pen made by stedler in germany judging by its design i believe it's a fountain pen from the late 60s and the beginning of the 70s it is one of uh, maybe the last fountain pens produced by Stedler. Well, uh, S.T. Stedler was a fountain pen producer, quite a renowned fountain pen producer in the 1930s in, or, and in the 1940s. It has two lines, the Stedler Luna and the Stedler Mars. This interesting fountain pen, I believe it's uh, the last efforts of this company to stay afloat because it had uh, so much competition brought by the revolution of the ballpoint pen. So the trend of the industries back in the 60s and 70s was to produce a fountain pen that could compete with the low prices ballpoint pens had back then. So don't expect this to be quite, quite a high quality item. It is a piston filler, and I believe it is an NOS piston filler. Just look at it. We unscrew it. Interesting, the end of the piston is made out of plastic, so definitely not a model from the early 1950s where this part was a wood cork part and it had to be replaced and you can see judging by it i think it was never used and another clue that this is almost an nos product is those engravings and not the engravings but the fact that you can see the paint the gold paint has still uh, remained intact on the body so it so little use with the sweaty sweaty hands that in time affect this paint interesting because uh, they had to spare lots of cost we have a gold plated nib in fact we have engraved on it gold plated number four and uh, interesting it has an iridium tip as you can see I think it is iridium. I don't think it is uh, the same steel we have here gold plated. It certainly seems to be from a different material, but I could be mistaken. But you can see that uh, although it didn't saw lots of ink content, it has oxidized in time, maybe because uh, it was left uh, without the cap for a long period of time at the back we have an interesting interesting feed it resembles a feed made out of ebonite but due to the fact that they had to spare some cost i believe that this is a plastic feeder and this is the fountain pen well uh, guys i will leave its dimensions on the screen bear in mind we will leave its dimensions without the cap and for the first time I will ink this item for you guys to see how it writes. I'm curious myself, usually I don't want to fill it with ink but um, I'm not so sure. I think that this time guys for your pleasure I will do uh, maybe the first writing sample from its lifetime. So I believe that the fountain were meant to be filled with ink and used. This is my philosophy. How will I use this fountain pen? Maybe I will put it on a stand like this stand over here. And I will simply put it like this. And I will use it when I need it. 
Uh, I don't know exactly. I'm cu curious to see how this nib performs. And uh, guys, I think that a uh, nice, nice color should be appropriate to to see this beauty. And I will choose a light color because I think that maybe after I will use it, I will clean it and. Uh, this pink ink from Faber Castle, I think it is an uh, easy to clean ink and it is quite an affordable ink. You will see the lovely, lovely color of it. So, for the writing sample, I have here my notepad. I'm sorry for this stain over here. I'm trying to use as many paper as I can for these writing samples. So without further delay, let me take this ink out. You can see it's not uh, not much quality uh, quantity has, uh, so it's uh, it is at the end of it. So I hope we have sufficient amount of ink to fill this piston. I will certainly use it this way. So the key to it, guys, is when you insert it, make sure that this breathing hole is fully immersed in ink. So before I will start, I will simply turn this piston. Now, let me see if I can, oh, I believe not. Let me see if I can pull some ink. Uh, no, no. Let me see again, let me try again. Maybe if I use some different angle, I will manage. No. Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. I know I have another ink bottle over here with the same color. But I think that this was contaminated with a few drops of a darker ink, maybe a blue one. We will see about it. Yes, you can see it's quite, quite filled. And now I should resolve this problem. So guys, I'm just turning the piston like this. Now I'm emerging the fountain pen in ink. And now, yes, you can see the ink. Okay, and it's fully filled with ink. Let me put this aside here to avoid some accidents. And why not? Before I will do the writing sample, I have here a tissue to clean it. Yes, I will clean it like this. So a beautiful, beautiful piston filler with an ink window. A German piston filler from the late 60s and the beginning of the 1970s, I think. So this is... Uh, let me give a little focus. Yes, a Stedler. Whoa, hmm. it has a quite quite a bad ink flow in my point of view. Let me show it to you guys. So this is a Stedler. I don't know the model, but it was made in Germany, made in Germany. I'm not pleased with the ink flow. Maybe I will try to apply some pressure to it. Let me put place it here. Okay, you can see, hmm, it should write, let me do some little flowers here, yes, when it has ink, hmm, well, we will continue our writing sample, maybe it will uh, give uh, us a little ink flow. Now I am applying some pressure on the tines because I want to see if we have some flex to this nib. No. So again, guys, let me tell you, this is a steel nib. Yes, and the ink flow problem, you can see it's uh, resolved. Uh, it's uh, normal, guys, because it is the first time that this fountain pen is ev was ever used, in my opinion. So a steel nib. Judging by the way it writes, I think we have a fine nib. Fine. Let me see if now we have some 
juicy juicy yes quite quite nice and let me test if we have some line variance so here no pressure a nice ink flow and here pressure and you can see no no line variance so no visible difference between the line with pressure and the line with uh, no pressure okay guys let me now see if we can reverse write with this beautiful instrument reverse writing yes it is a possibility but it scratches a little bit and you can see that the ink flow is affected so yes but for a short period of time and if we have a fine here i believe in reverse writing we have an extra fine and you can see that already the ink flow is a problem so maybe it's possible that the reverse writing but for short periods of writing sessions okay guys now let me see if we can do a little signature on with this fountain pen yes i believe we can do a little signature and now why not let me tell you about the fox so a little zoom and now i will write about the fox so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog what can i say guys i'm not impressed with this nib and maybe i will fit a gold nib to this stedler germany fountain pen this is a solid fountain pen so a solid plastic piston filler with an ink window and um, i think that with a nice nice nib it could do quite quite nice uh, a nice uh, writing sample just look at this feeder is simply filled with ink so it should have a nice nice ink flow but for some reason uh, this has some uh, problems maybe this fountain pen was their last attempt to stay relevant in the fountain pen market but as you can see they've made some price cuts in the production of it and uh, i'm referring to this nib this was guys my review of the stedler fountain pen a modern fountain pen now the german stedler company doesn't produce fountain pens anymore it focuses its production on pencils of different colors made for children and uh, they are quite quite well known in uh, this niche market of the colored pencils for children and for adults for artists they are quite quite well known in germany and in europe i'm not a fan of this nib i don't like this ending i'm not so sure it's iridium uh, point but i don't like this nib a generic nib a uh, nib that was gold plated but the plating of the gold has faded away in some parts i'm sincerely disappointed of this nib because the fountain pen is not a bad fountain pen and um, it is quite 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 nice guys thank you again for uh, your view i want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are i want to thank you for your time we will see each other at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless